What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. Super happy that you are here. Today's video is a drugstore tutorial. I had this one coming for a very long time and I'm really excited I waited because as you guys know, I'm not a fan of drugstore's eyeshadows. I actually haven't landed a drugstore eyeshadow that I am like, this is my go-to. Besides, of course, Murphy and ColourPop, which are considered very um, cheap uh, in price uh, makeup. But other than that, like Maybelline, L'Oreal, and all that, um, eyeshadow-wise, I have never found an eyeshadow that I want to use and I like it. Um, but other every other product I love, um, y'all know that one of my favorite foundations from the dark store is um, the LA Girl Pro Girl Concealer. I'm sorry, the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is like one of my best drugstore foundation at the moment. So I went to Ulta the other day um, for uh, for my Shape Tape Concealer, and um, I decided to go over to the drugstore section. I'm like, listen. I haven't filmed a drugstore tutorial, tutorial I think, in a very long time. So I was like, let me see what's new. I pull over. <laughs> I'm like, ah, to the drugstore side. And I saw the display of Maybelline and Gigi Hadid. And I was like, oh my god, that's right. She had a line with um, Maybelline. And I was like, oh my god. I've been living under a rug because I totally forgot that it actually launched at Ulta stores. And I'm like, oh my god. So as I'm looking there, trying to choose something for you guys, um, I was like, okay, what do I want? I don't have eyeshadow. So I started looking at this quads here. Um, well, not they're not quads. They're like little small um, eyeshadow palettes. She has a few of these. Um, and then this is the West Coast. And also she has the East Coast collection also. And then she has her big, um, her big um, eyeshadow palette. And I could have bought everything to give you like a review, like a thought on it. But I was like, you know what? It's just going to be a waste of money for myself because I know for a fact that I won't use the palette again. I will probably won't use the highlighter, um, a little um, highlighter, liquid highlighter. So I was like, I'm just going to take what I'm going to use for this tutorial. And I came across this one right here, which is the West Coast Warm Palette. And I absolutely love all the colors inside. It screams my it screams my name when it comes to like eyeshadow. So I was like, alright, let's just buy it, whatever. And then as I'm looking at the lipsticks, um she has three lipsticks um that are popping, which are so the lipstick everyone raves about is the Tara. So I'm guessing this is the liner to the Tara Tara, and hopefully I'm saying it right to the Tora lipstick, so she has three lipsticks. She has Tora, she has Erin, and then she has McCall, which are the um, East Coast Nude. This is from the East Coast collection. She has the East Coast Nudes, which are those three colors. So I ended up picking up the liner for Tora, but the lipstick that I picked up was the Met Call, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And I feel like them two together looks very well. This is a drugstore tutorial, but just my my uh, small thoughts on the G Headed collection, to be honest, guys. um. I only picked up that small shadow, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm definitely going back to pick up her other shadow because for me, I was blown away with the shadow, how pigmented and how beautiful it looked and how beautiful it blended. Like, honestly speaking, um, she restored my faith on what it is, drugstore shadows. So I really, really love it. If you haven't picked up and you're a little skeptical about it because you don't want to jump into hype, which I understand, um, I highly recommend you picking them up. They're not expensive, and right now Ulta's having a sale on them. I hope, hopefully, crossing my fingers. Just check your local Ulta. So she has a, a lot of things on her line. I honestly just pick these, and I, I will recommend you guys picking it up if you guys haven't. Um, the lipstick is pretty, um, it's pretty good. It's a lipstick. It's not a liquid lipstick, so it won't like stay there forever. But um, other than that, I really like it. So. If you guys want to see what products I use and what I use to do this look, I wanted to keep it very simple, very glowy, very Gigi headed because I was looking at her pictures and she's not a extravagant makeup like um, Amrezi and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying that she's very simple, but her skin is always glowing. She's all about the highlights. She's all about the glow in her eyes. So I wanted to do it like very simple like her because she has very simple um, look. You look at her pictures, she has very simple makeup look. So that's what I wanted to do. Very simple makeup look, but at the same time, very glowy skin, very highlight, whatever. So if you guys want to see what products I use and how I use and how I use them, all you have to do is keep on watching. Alright guys, so first up, we're going to moisturize our face. Like I said, I want this look to be very glowy, very dewy. Um, so I make sure to 
very well prep my skin. Right now I'm prepping it with my moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer you like. But I'm just making sure that my face is completely well moisturized. I just love doing this all over and everywhere. Make sure it's very moisturized. Now for primer, you can use any one you like. Um, at the moment, I thought I had a drugstore primer, but I didn't once I was trying to film the, the tutorial. So you can use any primer. We're going to jump into color correcting L'Oreal Infallible Pro Coverage um, Corrector Palette. And I'm breaking out lately a lot because I'm trying so many new products. So. Here just pretty much um, applying some color corrector everywhere I'm breaking out and also I like to apply a little bit on my under eyes to make sure that um, you know it, they look bright and not my dark under eyes. So we want dewy, glowy, I'm going in with the Master Strobe Light and then I'm by Maybelline and then I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and I'm mixing both, I'm mixing the Maybelline um, strobe highlight I think it's called it's like a liquid strobe it's super bomb guys and then I'm just pretty much applying it to our face well our face well, it's my face <laughs> and then I'm just going in with a brush this one right here is not a drugstore but I'm testing it out so you kill two birds in one stone that is the um, Michael Todd uh, Sonic brush thoughts on it will be coming pretty soon so I'm just blending away. Um, then I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Pro Conceal Concealer. Um, I'm not a fan, honestly speaking. A lot of people love this concealer. I am honestly a fan of a more uh, deep, full coverage concealer. But this works. Very inexpensive and still is pretty good. I feel like this is great for highlighting. So you can use your concealer and then you can use this on top. And it will be amazing. So here is uh, the beauty blender. So, again, you guys know, just blend. <sighs> Some sip on my coffee to keep me going. So we're just blending away. Blend. Keep going, blend, blend. This is like literally my cardio. Guys. Blend, blend, blend. So now we're going to set just pretty much under the eyes. And we're using the Airspun Translucent Powder. Usually I set my foundation with powder, but not in this look since I'm trying to make it look a little bit dewy. But there's areas where I did set with it where I bake. So now moving in with the Pro Conceal uh, Concealer in a darker color. I think this is um, called Tan. I think this is the color Tan. And I am using this as my base for my uh, contouring. Again, glowy, dewy. So. Um, that is the reason why I'm contouring with cream first. Then we're just going to use a stipple brush. This is from e.l.f. And it's one of my favorite brushes to blend um, any liquid concealer, any cream contour or whatever. And after I give you guys a concert, we get back to work. I totally forgot I did that. <laughs> so I'm just blending away. Um, yeah, totally should have done this before I baked. I know. I'm just all over the place today, guys. As we speak. As, we, as I was recording that video, my son was like really ill. So I'm using the Pixi Beauty um, Bronze Palette and a big fan brush to bronze up my face. And then where my son, I had to put this video on pause and take care of him. Oh, and then my big one came in the, in the picture with his asthma. So, you know, I gotta be a mom. So now we're stepping on to the eyes and we're using the palette and we're using that color right there and I'm looking at the palette none of them have a name I mean no I'm using the color the warm the warm from the West Coast palette and I'm using that color that I showed you they don't have uh, names on it I'm sorry I thought they did they don't so I'm using that warm color for my transition shade and I, I just love that color. Then I'm grabbing the one that is a little bit more shimmery. And I'm using that on my lid. I'm, oh, I, they do have names. Oops, sorry. Alright, so the one I use on my... On my um, it's called the Matte Montecito. It's called Montecito. And then the one I use on my lid is called Firehouse. And then I used a little bit of... And then I wanted to give it a more glowy look, more like more glitter. 
So I went in and I used the golden color, which is called Slumberland. Summerland. Oh my god, I can't read. Summerland <laughs> on my lids. And then for the highlight, of course, I used the color Blondie, which is beautiful, guys. I love it. I really do. I'm not lying. This palette is awesome. So now, just to make it stand out a little bit more on my lashes, I'm using a uh, liner brush and that brown color, which is called Pacific Coast Highway. And I am using that liner brush and I'm just pretty much applying a little bit very, very close to my lash line just to make sure that the mascara that I'm using, which is the Maybelline Chaotic, I think it's called, makes the lashes pop a little bit more. Her look, I've never seen her with lashes. She's very natural. Everything is very natural, very glowy, very um, shimmery, glittery lids, and just lots of lashes. I mean, mascara. Then I'm doing the same thing I did to my top, to the bottom. I'm using that color called um, Montecito. And that's what I used on the bottom of my eyes, guys. And then I put a little bit of, of mascara. I'm just taking away the powder. Um, I'm not setting because, again, I don't want to make it too matte. So now I'm moving in with the Maybelline Strobe um, Liquid. And I'm telling you, I love this thing. I, I don't even know why I haven't used it. And I got it a very long time ago. So because I want to make this extra glowy, I want to make it extra, um, you know, like blinding I'm using this first and then for the highlight I'm using the highlight color called blondie and I use that as my highlight guys because I thought it was a beautiful color I just absolutely love how it looked and I just decided to bake my face with it guys honestly speaking um she did have I think a liquid highlight but I didn't pick it up so I'm using the highlight all over my face and now for the lip I'm using the Trana Tra Trana Trana lip liner and McCall as my uh, lipstick. I just think that's two colors um, match well together. The lip liner is a little bit on the darker side than the lipstick but still looks beautiful. It gives that um, ombre color and here is the lipstick is adores. you like it and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my family here on YouTube I highly 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 recommend you do um, the subscribe button is right down there it don't buy but it will change your life guys and if you guys want to follow me on all my social medias everything is right down below let me know your thoughts on this look let me know if you picked up any Gigi headed or will be picking up any Gigi headed um, collections on the comment section down below let's get talking thank you guys for your love and your support Mwah. muchos besos I'll see you ladies on my following video adios